In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make star shape six options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this star shape here uh, with the gray color and I have added six oval shape for each option and with a different unique color I have given with the gradient fill and I have added the icon for each option and you can add your own detailed text here. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes, scroll down and from stars and banners I am going to select this star six points. Hold the shift key while dragging this one making this much size, you can see here. Then align center, align middle, shape outline, make it no outline and if you want you can see here the small point orange point you can just increase or decrease the points so uh, let it be this size and then i'm just going to select this right mouse click and say edit points now you can see here all the the black points so i'm just going to select the points here and right mouse click and just say smooth point here so it becomes smooth like this so again I'm just going to select this smooth point select all one by one just convert it to smooth points you can see here and this also a smooth point so it end up looking something like this so you can see here this is not a perfect shape Again, I'm going to select this right mouse click edit points and this point I'm just going to select again and you can see here there's two small let me just zoom it. You can see here two small square shape. I'm just going to drag it outside. So you end up getting this shape make it straight like this. You can see here again how much wider you need you can just increase it. So I'm just going to select this one and you can see here I'm just going to turn it something like this again make sure that this is also the perfect aligned again doesn't matter if the size are small or big but make sure that there should not be a significant difference in sizes and again let me just select this and you can see here and the last one I'm going to select and make it so you can see here we end up getting this shape and if you see any abnormalities in this one again you can just select this edit point you can see here this is not that much uh, I'm just going to increase further so this looks okay this also and this also so we have to just make sure that the size is perfect at least not but it should be 80 to 90 percent perfect so okay now i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to change this color sorry this one i'm going to change the color go to format shape and i'm going to select some light gray color here and this one again align center align middle and hold the shift key and increase the size up to the your requirement and again align center align middle and send this to back so you can see here you end up getting this shape now i'm going to add the circles go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by again holding the shift key you can see here shape outline make it no outline and put it exactly in the center right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to select a gradient color so there are four stops i'm just going to delete two stops and i'm going to use the first stop give some nice color combination whatever color you like and the other stop i'm going to give some pink you can see here and the direction how the direction you need you can just set the direction and send this to back you can see here Again, if you want, you can increase the size a little bit more and again, put it exactly in the center. Press Ctrl D and add it to each point. You can see here. Later on also, we can just adjust the size if it is small or big. 
again control D so you can see here and this one again make sure that this is properly aligned now I'm going to select all this and send this to back and I'm going to select this blue one and going to make the shape fill as white so you end up getting a shape something like this now it's time to change the color of each circle if you like you can keep it one color or you can change it so let me just select this one and again select the first top go to more colors I'm going to change the colors one by one again depending on your choice you can just select each color so let me just select some random colors like this you can just change the different color so once you change this color I'm just going to add the option number here first of all let me just go to view remove the guides go to insert text box I'm going to say 01 center align bring it here make it bold I'm going to select the font Oswald increase the size you can see here and I'm going to choose the color which I have used for this you can see press ctrl D you bring it here this is second this is third fourth fifth and sixth and now it's time to just change the numbers this will be second this will be third fourth fifth and sixth now after you added the options here either you can do the detailed text within this uh, circle or you can add it outside of the circle and if you want you can just insert some icons within the circle if you want to insert the icons you can just simply go to insert icons again this icon feature is available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you don't have then you need to download it or i have provided uh, a whole chapter or whole uh, video on this one so let me just insert this you can see here sorry and uh, let me just add it one by one here you can just see here i'm just adding one by one but the size is very big we can reduce the size so let me just select the icons you can see here and i'm just going to make it 0.5 only and then you can adjust it according to the position here whichever best way you can just add it and again if you want you can keep it black color or you can convert this to white also and now it's time to add some text so you can add your detailed text here let me just reduce the size so press ctrl D and add one by one for each circle if you want you can just add some title also but anyway this is just an example so you can see here almost our design is ready you can just again make sure that this is properly aligned so our design is ready and you can add one more for example let me just select this circle press ctrl D to duplicate it and go to insert shapes I'm going to select the oval shape again and I'm just going to cover this much oval shape only and then I'm going to select this one hold the shift key select the blue oval shape go to format merge shape and you can just select intersect and I'm going to select as a solid fill and let me just bring it here i'm going to make the color as white and increase the transparency level to maybe 70 75 you can see here you can just put like this one press ctrl d again rotate a little bit you can just add it one more here you can see here like this again press ctrl d and you can just add it something like this so you can whatever effect you want you can just add some more effects to your shapes
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye